All right, so we're in half step down tuning. I'm going to show you how to play the intro, which is also the way you play the verse and the chorus. It's going to sound like this. Our first chord is going to be an A minor, so we've got open A, second fret D and G, first fret B you're going to use your thumb to alternate picking between the bass notes. For the A minor, it's going to be open A and then open E. You're going to get this sound. So, you're going to pluck the open A and then use your nail to strum down on the A through the high E strings. Then you're going to go to the open E string and do the same thing. And you can do that one more time. A two times. Next chord we're going to do is going to be an F bar chord. So bar the first fret of all the strings with your index finger, ring finger goes third fret A, pinky third fret D, and then middle finger on the second fret of the G string. And we're going to do that same pattern we did with A minor, but this time you're going to start with the first fret of the low E string. So you're going to pluck, strum, and then you're going to use the third fret of the A string as your next bass note. If you have trouble with bar chords, a variation you could do is your index finger on the first fret of the B string, middle, second fret G string, pinky, third fret D, and then ring finger, third fret A, and use your thumb to wrap around to the first fret of the low E string. That one is challenging as well. I find it easier sometimes, but the bar chord for me works better in this case. You just pick your poison. So from A minor to F. Next we're going to go up to a G bar chord, so take your F shape, move it up two frets. Now we've got 3rd fret low E, 5th fret A and D, 4th fret G, and then B and high E have the 3rd fret as well. Now this time we're not going to do the G chord two complete times. You're going to go 3rd fret low E, strum, 5th fret A, strum, 3rd fret low E. But now instead of doing the 5th fret, we're going to do a walk up to a C chord. So G is just going to be this. To do the walk up to the C chord, you're going to pluck an open A, then the 2nd fret A, and then the 3rd fret of the A string, and set yourself up with that C chord. So from G to that walk up. Now after you get to that third fret of the A string, that starts your C chord, and you're going to continue strumming it like we did before without alternating the bass note. So you're just going to pluck the third fret A, strum down, third fret A again, strum down, one more time, and then you're going to walk down to get back to the A minor to start the progression again. And all you have to do is move to the second fret of the A string, pluck that, strum down. So C is going to go. So from G to C. And now all together a little bit slower. Like I said before, this is also how you play the verse and the chorus, so I'm going to play little portions of each of them so you know where you're at, and then we can move on to the next part. Well, the car broke down in a one-stop town, just before it's about to turn around. Not a single city limit sign to see where he's at. And then the chorus. Forgive me, I suck at falsetto, but I'm going to try anyway. She said, when I'm with you, life spins around. I can feel us flying, so don't look down. Won't you hold my hand real tight so you don't drive me? So again, it's played the same way for the verse and the chorus. Now, between the verse and the chorus is a little hook that he does, and it sounds like this. Well, I just talk to God, and we feel this is best. Trust me if I didn't love you, I'd never let
So that hook is still going to use an A minor, but we're not going to be alternating bass notes for the first two chords. So for that A minor chord, you're just going to pluck the open A string, strum down, pluck the open A again, strum down one more time. And then we're going to walk up to the C chord. Now to do that, you want to just move your middle finger to the second fret of the A string. That's going to be your new bass note. So you're going to pluck second fret A, strum, and one more time. And then you're going to go up to C. So now we're on the 3rd fret A with our C chord, and you're going to continue plucking the 3rd fret A strum. Total of 4 times. So A walking up to C. chord we're going to go to is an F chord and we're going to play that the same way we did in the intro and verse. So you're going to start with the low E string as your first bass note, strum, and then third fret A, strum, and then one more time. And then we're going to move to an E chord, which we haven't used before, that's going to be open E, second fret A and D, first fret G, open B and high E string. This one we're going to pluck exactly the same way we did the F. So you're going to pluck an open E, strum, then 2nd fret A, strum, and then again. Now he adds the 3rd fret of the B string for the next two times he does it. So E all together would sound like this. can't do that third fret with your pinky in that chord shape because it's kind of awkward, just do the E chord all the way through. So that second portion all together, starting with the F chord. And now the hook all together. After that, you go into the chorus. Next part up is the bridge, and this one's going to be strummed out instead of pluck and strum. It's going to sound like this. So we're using the same chords, but this time we're just going to strum them. So the strumming pattern you want to do is just going to be two single down strums, followed by a muted down up before transitioning to the next chord. So for A, it would go down, down, muted down strum, and that's just down up. To mute the strings, all you have to do is release the chord and lightly touch with your fretting hand over here, right over the strings so they don't ring out. Next chord is going to be F, and we're going to strum it the same way. Then we're going to go up to G and do the same thing. So from A minor to G. Then we're going to go to a C chord, and we're going to walk down back to A minor. And these are going to be single down strums. You don't have to do the muted down strums in between. So you go C. Then go down to the 2nd fret of the A string, strum down again, and then that walks us back down to the A minor, which we'll repeat the same way we did before. So that A minor, we can do the same way we did before. Switch to F. Pardon the interruption, but while editing, I realized I completely missed a chord and messed up playing the example. It's supposed to go G and then to E afterwards. So I cut out some parts. I didn't want to re-record it. Just keep in mind, you're going to play it the same way you did before, but instead of ending on a C and going down back to A minor, you just do an E chord, single down strum. And that's it. Sorry about that. We're going to go to an E chord and just do a single down strum. This 
66 will take you west. And now all together a little bit slower. Truck got fixed, no got flipped. Breaking's over, but another setting in and They said, hang a left. 66 will take you west. And that's how you play the bridge. So put all those pieces together and you can play the entire song. Mm -hmm. 